in today's video we're taking a look at how to season your new cast iron skillet easy and simple this is so easy anyone could do everything that we use on the video we're gonna leave a link on the description don't forget to like the video and subscribe that does help us out a lot thank you so you just got your new defense tool I mean your cooking vessel or maybe the only family heirloom that's gonna be passed down generation to generation don't worry here at the static box team we've got your back the first thing that we want to do is remove any pricing or stickers or instructions slapped on the skillet now that your skillet went from name brand to generic and lost value we're ready for the first step and the first thing that we want to do is remove any chemicals or pre-seasoning created by the manufacturer and we're going to use old-fashioned elbow grease a couple of drops of dishwashing liquid warm to hot water and for scrubbing we're going to use the soft side of a sponge you can also use a stainless steel scrubber or a cast iron cleaning chain scrubber we'll leave links on the description of the video if your cast iron has any rust we'll leave a link to our video on how to remove rust from our cast iron on the description of this video and we remove the manufacturer's seasoning because compared to the seasoning we're gonna give it it's a light coat we're gonna give it a heavy duty coat which is gonna help you maintain that skillet rust proof and non-stick and because the enemy of iron is water we want to go ahead and make sure that we completely dry it and every time you use your skillet and you store it you always want to make sure that it is dry and preferably this would be the only time that your skillet will see dish soap again but let's say it does you're basically going to have to season it once again and the best way to make sure that your skillet is fully dry is by torturing it with a heat source and the easiest way to make it give up is taking it to the stove and heating it up for a few minutes so meaning if in the future you need to clean your skillet you can use warm water or coarse salt to scrub and always remembering to keep it dry we place it on the stove to dry up now that your victim has tapped we can go ahead and start preheating our oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 232.2 Celsius we also want to make sure that we place an aluminum foil on the middle rack of the oven meanwhile the friend zone chamber gets cozy we can start by lubing up I mean by oiling our skillet and for this we want to use a high smoke point oil you can also use vegetable shortening or even lard and the best recommended oil for that is flaxseed oil but if you don't have flaxseed oil you can use grapeseed oil canola oil or even vegetable oil so no matter which oil you choose we're basically want to cover every nook and cranny of the skillet as well as the back now that we glazed the pan and made it look shiny we're gonna take some clean paper towels and wipe everything off even though it looks like we're removing the oil we're not because cast iron is very porous even though we can't see most of it it's still in there and we want to make sure that we dry it as much as possible because we don't want to see any drip marks now that we confused our enemy by giving it a massage and now that our where the magic happens room is toasty we're gonna take our skillet to the oven and place it upside down on top of the aluminum foil and we're gonna leave it there with the oven on for an hour once the hour is up we're gonna turn off our oven and let our victim I mean skillet rest until it cools down once our skillet is fully cooled we could bring it back to our torture I mean to our working station as you can see the seasoning is already sticking the skillet is looking darker and shinier by the moment once we remove the skillet from the oven we want to make sure we go ahead and turn it on back again to our original temperature of 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 232 Celsius and we're basically gonna repeat this process for a minimum of two to three times to a maximum of four to five times the more coats you give it the longer your seasoning is going to last or until it gives up the information you've been looking for we make sure that we remove all the excess oil and then we place it on the oven once again because this process takes a few hours 
hours? You want to do this on an off day? We place the skillet on the oven for an hour. Once the hour is up, we turn off the oven. We let it rest there inside the oven until fully cooled down. We bring it back to our you're going to tell us what we want station. And in this case, we're going to give it our third and final coat of oil. And the seasoning process is something that you want to do the first time that you get your skillet. And if you maintain your skillet well enough, this can last you a very long time. Always remember not to store your cast iron with the lid that could trap moisture and create rust. Cooking high fat foods on your cast iron also helps with the seasoning. If you ever notice your skillet loses its non-stick powers, you can always repeat this seasoning process to your liking. Sometimes just one or two coats is enough for maintenance. And with the more cooking that you do on the cast iron skillet, the better it would get. As you can see in our final and third coat, it is shining in all its glory. It's ready to be used or ready to be passed down to your children or future generations as the only thing they're going to inherit. Now you can pat yourself on the back for a job well done. You leveled up your waiting skills, your patient skills, your coding skills. You are a true legend. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone in the Statabox team or someone in the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching and here's a link to our latest video.